Today I'm going to show you how to use the free iRig Recorder app to configure your iRig Pro Duo in either mono or stereo mode when you're recording video. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, what is up? It is Wiesna. As always, we are here at my studio, True Sound Studios, and today I just got to show you guys the new iRig Recorder app. So if you guys are like me and you're using your iRig Pro Duo to shoot video, sometimes uh, input one would be in mono and sometimes input two would be in mono and it would be great if you wanted two mono signals. And then sometimes uh, channel one would be left and channel two would be right and now it's a stereo signal. But you were doing an interview and you didn't want it like that. So it became kind of frustrating to use the iRig Pro Duo because it seemed to kind of make up its mind whether the inputs were going to be in mono or in stereo. Thankfully, that has all been resolved now with the new iRig Recorder app. What this app allows you to do is it allows you to individually select your inputs that you're going to be using and whether they're going to be in mono summed mode, which means both down the center or it's going to be in stereo. It also allows you to record the audio at different sample rates and even with the video mode part of it, it allows you to select three different qualities of video. So going from 720 to 1080 and all the way up to 4K. All right, so let's take a look at the setup and then also how to use the iRig Recorder app. Okay, so here is our setup. So we have the iPhone 6S Plus and connected with the cable that comes with our iRig Pro Duo over to the iRig Pro Duo. And here we have two microphones. Now this particular setup would be great for maybe an acoustic guitarist who wants to put one microphone on their acoustic guitar and the other one used for vocals. Or this would also be great for an interview situation where you have the microphone that you're interviewing with and then the person who you're interviewing has the other microphone. So on channel one here, we have our yellow cable connected over to this microphone, and this is the Shure SM57. It is a great, uh, fairly affordable microphone. It's great on vocals, and um, it's a dynamic microphone, so it doesn't require phantom power, and there's really a ton of uses for this microphone. And so on channel two, we have yet another SM57, and this is connected with a black cable just to tell the difference between the two mics and the two channels. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and open up the app. Right here, the iRig Recorder. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is in the bottom left-hand corner, you wanna hit the little settings button. As you can see here, we have channel options, sample rate options, and video quality options. So let's first start with the channel. So let's start with channel one. If you only want to record channel one or input one, you would just select channel one. Okay, so selecting channel one is great, especially in the situation where you might have another microphone plugged into the second channel, but you still only want to record what is coming out of channel one. And then if you select two, the same situation, if you only want to record channel two and not channel one. But if you do want to record both of the channels at the same time, that's what these last two options are for. So our next option is mono summed. And what is great about this is this would be great for acoustic guitarists, you know, with a vocal, um, an interview situation, because what it's gonna do is it's gonna take both of our microphones and make them straight down the center. So it's not gonna be panned, you know, channel one's not gonna be to the left and channel two's not gonna be to the right. This is gonna make one audio file and both microphones would be right down the center. And then finally the last option is the stereo option. So obviously this will make channel one all the way to the left and channel two all the way to the right. Now this is also a great option if you want to take your recording and run it through some sort of digital audio workspace or a video editing program that will allow you to independently split up the left and right channels. Okay, so then working down, we have the sample rate. Now you can either choose low or high. Low is gonna record at 44.1K, 24-bit, and high is gonna record at 48K, 24-bit. Now, depending on what, um, you know, maybe one of your other cameras are recording or maybe just what you currently edit in, 
really changes what both of those rates are. Now, even though it says low, 44K 24-bit is still CD quality. It's still really good. Um, I would not consider that to be low. It's definitely lower. And then the high at 48K is obviously going to be a little bit better, but um, feel free to you know choose whatever is going to work for you. So maybe check your DAW or maybe what your video editing software, if you're even going to edit these, um, what you're going to be editing in. And that might help you decide which uh, rate to record at. Now for me, when I record, I record at 48K, mainly because my camera shoots at 48K. So that's why I shoot with the high sample rate. So finally, with the video quality, you can see we have low, medium, and high. Medium is 1080, the low is 720, and the high, I believe, is 4K, if I'm not mistaken. So I shoot everything in 1080, so I use the medium setting. That really works well for what I'm doing, but obviously you can select whatever you want. Okay, so now that we are done with the settings, we can go to close and we come back to this screen. So down here to the bottom right is the video. So if we hit that, you will see, here we go. <laughs> here is me talking into the camera and you'll see right now we are in stereo mode it looks like. So if we go back by hitting the X and we can go to settings again and now we wanna to go to, so we wanna to go to some mono for this particular situation where both of the microphones are gonna be right down the center. So I'll hit close again, hit the video button, and here we go. So you can see now both, um, both the meters, the left and the right are working together. So I'm gonna take um, channel number one, check, hey, 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 and then channel two, Check, hey, hey, hey. So as you can see, both the microphones are gonna be working together in the center mode. Now, once again, if we go back to stereo mode, now channel one is gonna be just to the left. Check, hey, 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 hey. And channel two is gonna be all the way to the right. So you get to decide whatever you want to do and use for your video. Now, obviously, this is the front facing camera. So if we press this button, now it's going to be facing down. So this is probably how you guys are gonna shoot um, with most phones. The camera that faces away from the screen is the better camera. So now we can just go ahead and we'll flip it back to me just to make this a little easier. Okay, so for this situation, I wanna show you in mono summed mode. So we're gonna hit close and we're gonna hit the video button. And as you can see, it's gonna be facing us, but this is just for our, this demonstration. And I'm gonna hit record. As you can see, the timer is running up top there. So I'm gonna talk into the channel one. Hey, check, I'm talking into channel one. Hey, check, I'm talking into channel two. And both of these microphones should be right down the center. Okay, so that is gonna be it for our recording. So now we can very simply stop recording and this is what we have. So you can see that's the little video snippet and that is the audio file. So what we can do is we can actually up here, we can hit those three little faders and you actually have a whole bunch of different options. You can do optimize volume so you can make it, you know, as close to zero as possible, optimize the tone. And then you have cleanup, which will get rid of some of the noise. You can brighten the voice, which is obviously gonna add some trouble. You can have some fun with the pitch shift the smooth voice, um, and then you can have, uh, once again, a little more effects. You got speed up and speed down. Now, if you take a look at these other options here, these are the ones you have to pay for. So if I go ahead and hit play, um, you can see this is the playback. You can see the audio output working down here, which is great. So if you wanna trim it, you can use the little scissors and you can crop the video, the beginning and the end if you want. And then you can hit crop and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna crop this? You say yes. It's processing the audio and as you can see how quick that is. So now we got our video file that's perfect. Okay, now what? So what I like to do to get it off of this phone and put it onto whatever I want is up top here, that little box with the arrow, if you hit that. So now you have all these export options. So you can export just the audio as an MP4, a WAV, just the video with the audio or the full project. Now what I typically do is the video with the wave 
and it's gonna render real quick. And obviously the bigger the file, the longer it's gonna take. Now I upload everything to my Google Drive. Um, it's gonna ask you to sync it to your Google Drive and then you very simply hit upload. And now it will upload it through your Wi-Fi connection straight to your Google Drive. And then you can download it to a computer and then really you can do anything you want with it from there. Okay, so that is the quick rundown on how to use the new iRig Recorder app. Okay, so there you go. That is how you use the iRig Pro Duo and the iRig Recorder app. So I've shot a whole series of these videos using the iRig Pro Duo and all of its different capabilities and how you can use it in different situations. You can find all the links to these videos in the description of this video, or you can find the iRig Pro Duo series playlist right here on our True Sound Studios YouTube channel. So if you guys like this video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. Follow us on Instagram for daily posts. You can find the beats that I make right here at the studio on our SoundCloud page. True Sound Studios also mixes and masters your tracks. So once again, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Wiesna, we're at True Sound Studios, and True Sound Studios is in your ears.